morning folks last time we looked at the typical chinese breakfast as you can find it with variations anywhere in china today we are looking at a more regional type of breakfast specifically we are looking at shandong style shandong is a province in the northern central region of china it has more inhabitants than germany and is the home of the famous philosopher confucius our breakfast which we had at a restaurant where only local people ate consists of savory cakes, dumplings and three different types of soup. At first there is Xiaobing, a type of savory cake that is constructed from different layers before baking. On top it is sprinkled with white sesame grains for extra fragrance. This cake is very fluffy and extremely soft inside. The crust is also much softer than it would be for a bread roll. This is Hula Tang. Hula Tang means literally spicy pepper soup and is originally from the neighboring Henan province. As the name implies, this type of soup is heavily seasoned with black pepper. Additionally, it contains peanuts, seaweed and other types of vegetables. Next up is Dofu Nao, literally tofu grain. It is made from soft tofu so that you need to eat it with a spoon. It also contains soy sauce, beans and some green vegetables for a savory taste. The third soup, Hu Zhou, is made with a mixture of ground millet and ground soybeans. Like porridge, it is neither especially sweet nor especially savory, but it makes for a very nice complimentary drink that fits well with the other tastes of the breakfast. Finally, we have Shui Dian Bao, a type of dumpling. They are made with Bao Zhe dough as we discussed in our last video. But they are not steamed, but boiled. After boiling, they are fried. Just as Bao Zhe, they come with a variety of fillings. In our case, we had one type with green vegetables and one type with pork. And there you have it folks. This is a typical Shandong breakfast. We've been in this restaurant at a normal weekday morning and it was packed with local people. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more wicked culinary videos. So long.